Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Jacksonville. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Going to the air right away, Lawrence. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They go play action with Lawrence. And this one incomplete. A 50-50 ball in the end, nearly intercepted. And now it's third down. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Now Lawrence. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So pass interference to call. That's going to set him up with a first down. And if it's a bang-bang play, maybe the flag stays in the official's pocket, but instead, he definitely impeded the receiver's right to catch the football. The official's letting the players know how the game's going to be called here in the first quarter. On first down, Lawrence. That call. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Throwing again on second down. Lawrence, and that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. On third down, Lawrence, and that will be incomplete. I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week, but they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. That's fielded at the eight-yard line. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Time to see this wide-open Baltimore offense go to work and leading them pretty darn good one. Lamar Jackson out of Louisville. Early part of his career, defenses really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now he's turned himself into a true dual-threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Again, it's Edwards, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. the option here's Edwards and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled 16 yards on that one at a Raven first you were telling me this yesterday this is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive establish the ground game yeah remember our conversation we were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly it's a big man's game and it's not necessarily size he's talking about playing some big boy football line up get leverage knock people back and establish the run early. 45 yards rushing so far, and this is just their first possession. They've got a new set of downs here. And they run with Edwards off the option, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Rolling to his right. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Shoot, 
Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flush to, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Devin Lloyd, the one to get home and earn that sack. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Give him six on the run. It'll be third down now with still a long way to go to get to the first down marker. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Now it's Jackson. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he is going to lose yardage here. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Tucker's kick is good. And the Ravens strike first at three zip. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. Forced out to his left. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. A man coming off a washout 2021. It's Travis Etienne. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. A cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. Take it in at the 22. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Throwing is Jackson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. It's a big Baltimore, and even 50 yards. And that was a high degree of difficulty on that one, but to me, it goes back to fundamentals and determination. High point the football and declare it yours. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson. 14 yards, and the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead grows to 10-0. One play, two plays, touchdown. That's all it took there, a very short and sweet drive that got him in the end zone. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. And they'll go again with ETN. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Two yards, good enough for a first. Lawrence. And Jones has it over the middle. 
It'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run with it. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that, Puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing. It puts them in that position. On first down, they look downfield, and it's complete. He's at the 30, 10, 5, and all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. O'Shea, 92 yards. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes our score 17-0. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. So an early advantage now to Goodwin. 17-0 our score as they kick this one away. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try to run some offense that way? Second quarter now from Jacksonville and it's the Jags with the football as they've got it second and seven. And his throw is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. He seems a little bit... And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Tyus Bowser blowing that play up. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. So a change of possession here on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. Gus Edwards heading back onto the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace, Jackson hit and he lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Oh, he's got a little dip. There he goes, right side. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Kenyon Drake, 55 yards. And the Ravens are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Tucker with the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, him in for six points. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the edge back. 
The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now a dump off here complete. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The Jaguars on third down. Not good, 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and four. Here's Lawrence, screenplay, here's ETN. And he is gonna have a Jags first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Lawrence will throw. Flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Patrick Queen got in there to stick him, he gets the sack. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. These guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return. Baltimore's offense starting another drive. It's Gus Edwards at running back. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Here's the option, running right. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. Jackson now. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. On second down, it's Edwards. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. 58 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. But we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit, but how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical, downhill running. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Jags grab it. Partner, everything that happened before that fumble was great. Good vision, navigated the open field, got good chunk yardage. At that point, if you see a defender coming, though, just step out of bounds. Don't risk all you picked up before the hit to just try and get an extra yard or two. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. My rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And the Ravens will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Partner, have you ever heard the story of Icarus in mythology? That's the guy who flew too close to the sun and had his wings melted. That was our guy right there. Keeps pressing it and pressing it. Finally, on that throw, he paid the price with that turnover. After the interception, here's Jackson. 
And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Andre Sisco. And the Jaguars are going to take possession of the football. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered, they'd had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. On second down, a run with Etienne. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Open man right side is Ingram. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Second and four. Now here's the option play going left. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. On third and one, it's Lawrence. And Ingram holds it in. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Now Lawrence to throw. This is caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. They'll try to run with ETN. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. Travis Etienne taking it in from two yards out. And the Jaguars are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that'll make it 24-7. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. Time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Off the option, here's Edwards. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 45 on second down, Jackson. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. Well, we've seen Jackson already have success in the first half running the football, and he gets good yardage on the ground again there. I mean, how? I know it's a $64,000 question, CD, but how do they contain him better? You have to win against the blockers ahead of you. If those guys even occupy a defender for even a half a second, then Lamar Jackson is gone. You've got to take those blockers and move them so that you have clear vision of Lamar Jackson, and hopefully you can hem him in. Well, another fine run right there for Lamar Jackson. And CD, that one puts him over 100 yards now for the ball game. And remember when all we talked about were 100-yard games from running backs? Mm -hmm. That when a quarterback did it was a surprise. But Lamar Jackson, that's part of the package as well. He'll have as many 100-yard games in the season as the top running backs in the league. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior. And that's where the penalty occurred. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Two 
to throw is Jackson. Steps away to his left. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. And the Jags are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. 13 seconds, the time remaining in the half as they come up on first down. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Play action. It's Lawrence. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Final play of the half. It's Lawrence looking downfield for Jones. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you very much. As we welcome you back for quarter at number three, the Ravens ready to receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. That a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. 26 big yards on that one. It's another first down. They'll go option to the short side. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 12 more yards there and another first down. Again, Jackson will keep it. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Considering they've seen him have some big gains against him throughout this game, that's got to feel like a measure of revenge as they trap him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. On second and 11 now. Jackson escaping the pressure right. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Jags grab it. So certainly not at all what you're looking for here to start the third quarter, a fumble on their opening drive. Not at all. You're exactly right about that because this had a chance to be the drive to put everything away. A touchdown here, that might have put everything out of reach for them. They definitely handed out a lifeline to the defense on that play. ETN up the middle. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. 42 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Now, Lawrence. Completes it to Evan Ingram. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Second down at four. Oh, 
Now Lawrence on the move past the 40. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 38-yard line. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Straight ahead, ETN. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. The Georgia man, Roquan Smith, came in and got him. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Lawrence going to get this to ETN. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Gardner, normally double coverage is reserved for receivers and tight ends, but this time they actually targeted the running back with it, and it still wasn't enough. He attacked the defense and got in a great position to haul in the catch and get a nice gain out of it. Third and two, now Lawrence. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And he will have a Jaguars first down, and he's going to have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. Here's Lawrence to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. A second and 10 forthcoming here. Third quarter action from Jacksonville. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence. Flush to his right. And I think the ball's out. And it's picked up by the Ravens. There he goes left side. And this is going to be brought back for a Baltimore touchdown. Make it happen. So that's about as fortuitous of a bounce as you're going to find as it's scooped up and taken in for the touchdown. And I love how you use the word fortuitous there because as that popped up, he just happened to be in the right place, grabbed it, and found his way into the end zone. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start to drive at the 25. The Jaguars again ready to take over on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. That's Juwan Taylor, the right tackle. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw, Lawrence. He'll drop that underneath to ETN. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here's Logan Cook now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Ravens taking the field. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early clock game, yet at the same time. A contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 45 yards. Frankly, I don't know that this defense knows what to do anymore. Just look at their body language out there. The passing game has absolutely been relentless throughout. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Devin Duvernay, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. 
Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. 75 yards on the ground for him so far. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They run once more with Edwards. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. They'll run here with Edwards. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Gus Edwards, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. 
to throw on third down. Lawrence dancing to his left. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Here we go, gotta have it. Lawrence on the slant, he'll get it to Jones. And he is gonna have a Jags first down as they'll get the conversion on a gain of 14. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. This offense so far on third down, they've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This will be third and five. Again, it's Lawrence. And able to find Kirk complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 40. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll find ETN out of the backfield. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Lawrence flushed out right. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. And the Ravens are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Well, let's face it, Brandon. They're down here in the second half. Want to try and make something happen. And if you're the guy with the ball in your hands, you're going to try even harder. Because I think all he was trying to do was to get outside the pocket and see if he can find a big play downfield. They'll start the drive with Drake. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Jackson's going to look to run it. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. He has enough for the first down on the keeper, a gain of six. On the option, here's Drake. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead, first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Now on first down, Drake again. And some room to roam now. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. They stay on the ground with Drake. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's OK. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Second and five now. Jackson. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Demarcus Robinson, 34 yards. And the Ravens continue to run up the score. They lead it big here in the fourth. Tucker with the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. 
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you've got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Second and inches, Lawrence. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Lawrence on third down. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. On first down, Lawrence. Buying time to his left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Lawrence. Looking for the out route here, and it's completed to Kirk. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Lawrence going to throw again. Oh, that's the third interception for Lawrence. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard. They see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Here's Edwards again on second down. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Edwards now on first and 10. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Jags grab it. 
And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at that. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. 